Uh, it's obviously a big deal. It's, well, I guess, four hour difference, I think. And uh, yeah, so instead of playing at our usual seven, seven o'clock, we're playing at, you know, 11, 11.30 at night. So uh, everything kind of gets messed up. You're eating, you normally eat at this time. Instead, you're eating four hours, you know, later, or earlier, or whatever, however it works out. So it's a big deal and uh, sleep habits are, uh, are important. And we gotta, we'll have to figure that out, hopefully, in the next couple of days here before we, uh, we start playing. We're lucky we leave on a Wednesday. Different time zones, yeah. It's something that uh, you just gotta go along with it. Um, doesn't come easy. You just gotta get used to it and make the best out of it. Um, it's difficult at first, but uh, nutrition comes in a lot. Doesn't play. We just gotta make sure we get our sleep and nutrition, and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, there's all kinds of routines. Uh, for the most part, all the guys keep the same spots on the bus. That's uh, it's a pretty big deal. Guys get pretty mad if, uh, if you try and steal their spot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we try to. I mean, we always eat pasta for the most part. That's a pretty typical uh, road meal. Um, I guess for the most part, people try to sit by the same people, uh, to, you know, at the dinner table or whatever too. And it's usually the same guys pulling pranks too, which is kind of funny. So yeah, so it's always a good time. Being um, yeah, on the road we um, we have the same uh, seats on the bus and. Uh, this trip is different with the plane, so you never know who you're going to sit by, if it's even somebody on your team or if it's someone different. Um, on the road, we have the same roommates in the hotel. Um, the, the snack is uh, whatever the team gets us, but um, if we have a snack before, it's usually the same stuff. First night we get in town, we usually go to the grocery store, but um, I usually, uh, before every game, I usually have a peanut butter banana, banana sandwich. So. Most about the trip is it's the first time to Alaska without snow. So it's going to be different to see the ground and be able to see the see the state in a different way. Probably actually playing hockey towards the end. It's such a it's such a process just to get up there with all the flights and uh, you know eating airport food and all that stuff is kind of gets old fast. So I guess getting up there and actually getting settled down and just worrying about hockey and not planes and your gear arriving and all that stuff. It's just once once uh, once we get ready uh, Friday night for the game is that's the most fun. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, mentally, it's kind of a nice thing to have in the back of your head to, to know we've had success there in the past and, and that we can have success there again, obviously. Uh, like we said earlier with the time change and all that, it's, pre it's pretty challenging, but uh, we know that going up there, we have, uh, we have a good chance to win. The game. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an advantage we like to look at, um, but the truth is every game, every trip is different. we got to make the best out of it, um, make sure we get our sleep and all be on the same page to produce as much as possible. It'll be a little bit easier. I mean, you know what you're getting into for the most part. You, you know some of their players and uh, you know their systems a little better. You know kind of what their players are going to do individually. And uh, it, yeah, it probably helps just, just because of uh, the familiarity and uh, you know. You kind of go both ways. Um, knowing a team, we, uh, we know certain aspects of the game and different things and um, we know what they're going to do but at the same time then they realize that and they change it up. But um, a different team, it's, I, I like it a lot better because you can, uh, you got your own mind to think with, um, you, it's whatever you think and you can go out there and do whatever you want.